phased and worried. Beatrice Nabona waited next to the bed where her 15 year old daughter Esther Narima lay waiting to go into a theater for an ovarian cyst operation. A cyst is a mass filled with water which develops inside an ovary after ovulation. The cause of such is not clear. Ago, Esther Narima felt pain at night at the time when the mother was on a night duty and she was home alone. And the moment she felt pain in her lower abdomen, it was so excruciating that she had to lie down and then call the mother. The following day, they decided to go to hospital and then did a checkup. And they first suspected she could have had a UTI, which they tested and turned out positive. But even after medication, still she felt the pain. And that's why they had to go for further medication and checkup, especially to do a scan on her lower abdomen. And the scan revealed something that shocked the entire family. The doctor for the scan told us that she's having ovarian cyst. I was so worried, but she told me that that ovarian cyst, with the treatment, it can resolve. I got so, so worried because it was my first time to go for a surgery. I so, so, so worrying. I can't, I can't take it. Nalim is among the 20 women and girls who the Association of the Laparoscopic Surgeons are going to operate for free during a two-day camp held at Henrob Hospital, Nsambia, Lubaga, Doctors Hospital in Seguku, and Alexandria Medical Center. Nalim has been in pain for two weeks, but some people take longer with the pain because of the cost involved. The cost is about 5 million shillings for a single operation. According to her mother, Nabona, first suffered from the same ailment at the age of 25 years and is worried that Naluhima has got the same complication at 15 years. What went into my mind that my daughter is still young to have such things. At around 1.30 p.m., Naluhima was aided to walk into the theater and once there, Dr. Chigundu is preparing for the operation. The prayer is said, then the anesthesia begins. Reparoscopy basically means putting a scope inside the abdomen. It's like an eye inside the abdomen. So we use a special camera through a small pinhole. After that, the three holes are cut on the abdomen. So the difference between this and open surgery is that here you don't have to, to make big incisions. You don't have to make big incisions. You make very small incisions of about two centimeters and be able to put your working instruments and the camera through. <laughs> The stomach is then inflated with carbon dioxide. Um, we have a machine called an insufflator, which will inflate the abdomen so that we get a potential space to work in. Uh, we use carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is uh, a natural gas. And the machine will now tell us that that is enough. After that, a camera with a torch is also inserted inside Naluima. The telescope helps us to visualize. It's like a camera inside the abdomen. It helps us to see everything to detail because it magnifies the image 10 times more than what the natural eye, what the human eye will see. Then the operation to remove the swelling in the ovary and water begins. The thing I see when I put in a camera is fluid. There is that fluid inside the abdomen and when you see such kind of fluid, it means that there has been a chronic problem. What I'm trying to do is to remove the capsule. The capsule is the sac that had fluid and I'm trying to spare the ovary for, for future fertility. So After 30 minutes, the surgery is completed. The cleaning inside of blood begins. The ovary is left open, but the surgeon burns around it to prevent or stop bleeding. According to Dr. Chigundu, Uganda has only 50 laparoscopic surgeons. We think that if we come together as an association, uh, we can um, uh, help to spread out the gospel and perhaps in future when we train more and more doctors we are sure that probably the cost of this kind of surgery can come down over time. Yeah, right now they are closing the three tiny holes that they cut onto uh, Narima's stomach and then after that, after like about uh, six to eight hours she'll be discharged as compared to the open surgery where she would need to spend about three days in the hospital so that she can heal. And also what is interesting about this surgery is that um, the video recording of whatever was happening can be kept in the records of the hospital and also be given to the patient 
for future viewing. Sudilbi Arhanga, 